I am all in. Please don't remove this gravestone. Please. Best case scenario, he just plays like a, an environment. Yes, make it bigger. Yes, play more Play more cards. Play another click beat. Just play second click beat. I can you be my best friend. <laughs> Get absolutely, completely out of <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I'm really excited about this idea. It is the Freeze Deadly deck. Now cards like Frosty Mustache, Freeze on the zombie side, typically not been very good because, you know, this just prevents damage for a little bit of turn, but it doesn't, oh my gosh, the noise is so loud. I'm going to get rid of this card. It doesn't prevent your opponent from growing their field instead of being like a removal card. It's just it's just a stall card, and then they'll play another card the next turn. Now you got two things to deal with on turn three or four, and uh, you didn't really accomplish anything by playing by just simply freezing a card. But uh, the idea is is that what if you were to freeze them with your ice pirate, with your frosty mustaches, and then you're gonna come in with a field clear play. So then it doesn't matter how many minions they play, you're gonna be able to destroy all of them. And the easiest way to do that is by playing Barrel of Dead Beards on the field and making it deadly. We have a bunch of ways of doing that in this deck. We have the Barrel of Barrels. We are running the Laser Base Alpha. Uh, you can put it into that. If it's, yeah, obviously there has to be a minion there in order to explode the barrel. Uh, you also have the Super Stench because this is Infinity. So you have three ways of making it deadly. And again, this will remove every single minion off the field, including zombies, because it is, again, doing deadly, one deadly damage to everything on the field. The second way of doing it is if you play Graveyard um, on the first three turns. On turn four, you have a really cool combo, which is going to be Space Ninja into the Graveyard. The Graveyard will protect it, and then you're going to play either Barrel of Barrels to make it deadly or your Super Stench. Uh, the reason you really need Graveyard for Space Ninja is because it's very low stats. If you just play this as a 3-2, it will usually get removed. Most players are going to have some way of dealing two damage uh, to Space Ninja on turn four. Uh, but if you're playing it again into Graveyard, they're going to need exactly, you know, Gravebuster or Blockbuster, which they're much less likely to have than a, than a way of doing two damage. You can sometimes play the Space Ninja into Laser Base Alpha, but again, it will usually get removed before it doesn't attack. But hey, if they're a hero that just doesn't have removal, if it's Citron, then yeah, I guess he could probably go for Space Ninja uh, in Laser Base Alpha as well. Um, so we're running Yeti as one of our finishers, and the really cool thing now is that not only do we have uses for our freeze in order to stall for time, but we're also going to be using them uh, in order to give Cloud Yeti extra buffs. Having a couple laser base alphas I think is important. I might add a third one in during today's stream. Uh, maybe cut like three three graveyards and then three laser base alphas. I just think the graveyard's so important. Um, for these two cards uh, in order to really activate them like this on turn two if there's no environment It's not going to freeze a plant uh, But we'll keep an eye on that it could be a third laser base alpha will be, really be the thing that makes the cryo yeti uh, Actually able to hit face, you know what? I think because of how important this is going to be and how laser base alpha does actually fit with the deck I'm gonna make this addition right now. I'll change the deck uh, As we go on here my, my computer doesn't like taking screenshots today. All right I think blue stacks is preventing it. So, Zombot, Sharktronic stuff. I felt like after you have all your freeze and you're stalling and you're doing deadly splash, we needed some really solid late game cards. I was thinking a mixed up Gravedigger, which really might be better, but instead we're going to be running two copies of Shark, which again is a very expensive card for its stats, but if they're not able to deal with it, all of your splash damage will automatically kill every single, um, every single plant on the field because of the shark's passive ability whenever a plant takes damage it day it uh, we're also running three plank walkers just to have these big solid plays especially since you're often clearing your own field when you're doing like barrel of dead beards and deadly uh you're gonna need some really strong finishers in order to actually close out the game let's see how the deck does hope you guys enjoy we will get right into the game Uh, I'll update the deck list to three laser bays. Oh, I hope I don't regret this. Really hope I don't regret this. Because honestly, if we start getting our deadly our ninjas and our ice pirates and don't have laser bays, sorry, and don't have graveyard, it's going to be very sad. Here's a grass knuckle. We anyway kind of don't want against guardian heroes. 
to play laser bait to play graveyard on one because then they spike weed on two and just get a ton of value from that. So here's this. We'll get rid of the late game card. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the second barrel. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, I'll get rid of you. <laughs> I think this is a fine starting hand. Thank you, Starch Lord. Hi, Daddy Fry. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me about. Thank you, Starch Lord, for. Oh, you just gifted one. Wait, three month gifts, gift subscription, courtesy of Ulysses. I'm so confused. Someone just gifted something to somebody, and I don't know who. A lot of people have been asking me about the game Marvel Snap. Well, I'll try to play that as soon as possible. Maybe tonight. Just gotta find uh, find time for it. That's all. There's Laser Base Alpha. That's a really good play because it conjures a card too. So we pass. Especially if he puts a team up here. Cards. God dang. So we'll go for this. It's a nice time to set this up. It also conjures us a free card. And we'll go with some kind of barrel barrel thing next turn. I think barrel deadly should be okay here. Whee! Oh my gosh, we have mop. Guys, we have mop with laser base on the field. It's perfect. This is wonderful. So barrel deadly. Looks really good. Gotta play it here so it dies. He could put like a Bananasaurus Rex and do six damage. Really? So he's plant fooding. That's hilarious. I, I could still deadly this. It kind of just wasted the plant food. This is a pretty good deadly. Well, is it? Yeah, that's gotta be right. See if we can conjure a useful card. Okay, we can get a legend from that. Sorry, gambling, guys. Um, how many games should we play today? Let's do eight games because I think... I think these games are gonna go really slow since we're kind of playing a control deck. We definitely are playing a control. These games are gonna take forever. We're gonna play eight games today. If you think this deck from that little preview uh, you just saw is gonna win six out of eight, vote yes. Five out of eight or fewer is gonna be a no over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash prima. Voting starts right now. So now what do we do? I kind of messed up the play. Imagine getting a playable legendary there. He's gonna have to play around final mission right now, I think. So that's, I guess, a good thing. He's drawing cards, so I really wanted to be able to mop that. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this for a card. There's a barrel, oh my gosh. So we have we have Barrel Deadly again. <laughs> so good. So it's gonna be Barrel. They don't play this. What is this? GTCF? Everybody gambling is bad. Vote no. <laughs> He's trying to manipulate the bets. Thank you, GTCF. He's moving that. There. Are you sure about that? Wait. Hey. We need a leap. We need a leap. It's Erdish, actually. It's Erdush. Thank you, Erdush. Uh. Banana. I'm scared. I need another barrel. How about we put the, 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 the shark or something? I don't know. It's going to destroy the whole field. How do we activate this right now? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, my. So we go two. Do I play this? I don't know what to do here. I gotta play this. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this board is gonna explode. I probably should have saved this one, eh? Okay. See, he can't. 
make a play now in lane four or else it destroys the entire world. Oh my gosh, he might go for it. Please, 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 please. I beg of you. We need a leaf. We need a leaf. God damn it. Uh, I guess we get rid of that to prevent his cards. So we don't deadly yet. We can graveyard. Him, pl him playing into this is not a good thing. <laughs> I don't know what's. I don't actually know what's happening in this game right now. Th this game is completely deadlocked. I love it actually. Is Plankwalker gonna end up going here? I'm so confused. I'm kind of happy I set this up because it makes him not do anything. It makes us do damage, and he doesn't. All right, so we pass. I mean, if I get, like, a Deadly Ninja or, an, or a fourth barrel, it would work really well here. There's Plankwalker. I think we just go for Plankwalker. Let's go for it here, too. Why not? I hope he doesn't have Grave Removal. This way, if you remove something, like the 4-4, four, four, maybe he'll remove. It makes an extra guy. Come on, time to shine. Do it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Time to shine. Do it. What? Oh no, it's not deadly. Whoopsies. Okay, so that died. Wait, why why would he do that? Because now this potato saurus dies. Oh now he's gonna he's gonna banana bomb. Okay, that's fine. That is totally fine. He thinks he's going face for six. <laughs> that's funny though. Hilarious. Watch him photosynthesize for the win here. Nope. <laughs> Graveyard Plankwalker? Hold on, guys. Sorry. Thank you, Dark Knight, for welcome to the primary. So we get Gar... Okay, so this dies. We get Gondola. So Gondola is actually going to move to Graveyard. Or here. Well, this should proc the block. Now, did he use Time to Shine already? For the loss. He does it in the wrong lane. Nice play, bro. He just threw. He just threw. He just threw. Up Mondo, okay. Um. We can do this play. We'll give him. Do we have to give this deadly or should I just shark? Just shark him up? Maybe I'll just shark. I don't know. He just he just missed Lethal. I think the gondola, well, the gondola moves here. Uh, what if he kills the shark, though? I eh, ain't gonna kill the shark. <laughs> Got time to shine it. 12 bullseye. Just kinda, uh. So, guys, watch this play now. That's fine. I don't need this to live. That's okay. You go up to 11 11. So this ninja is gonna clear his life! His entire life is dead! Guys, look at the place. Uh huh? In fact, Shark just wins his guaranteed lethal with Shark now. On account of this guy missing lethal like a boss. Like a boss. I thought he was BMing. I thought he would actually have something here. Look at this ninja now. Time to make it splash. It kills the Triceratops. Love it. Which makes this go exactly to 10. Hell yeah! <laughs> wow. That, my friends, is going into the fail count. Don't matter who you are, <laughs> where you're from, what you do. As long as you fail me. As long as you feel me. Do you dig it? Why do I think yesterday was... Oh my gosh. Why did I think yesterday was the 23rd? Very confused. That's a highlight video, if anything ever. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Lazarus.
Hell yeah, I guess. One tr a negative one trillion IQ moment, exactly. Put in final missions in case we find ourselves there. Maybe. That was a very weird game. Uh, we have one. Oh my gosh, I love this against Solar Flare. It's so good. So, should I be keeping more freeze or going for, like, I should really be looking for deadly. I think I need another card that's not a laser. It's such a good card against Solar Flare, anyway. Alright, I'm gonna set up the, the con man later. It's so funny we're not con man on turn one. Hey, it's Iraklik. This is a stream sniper. Bruh. That stone carver would be good? I don't think so. I wonder if space time is better than ninja here. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna space time here. Uh, so we'll have the ninja set up for to really control something next turn. We can go with these two. Bro. So this is cool actually. So we'll conjure. It's cool. That's a conjure card. I'm going to go with Con Man to control this one, and we'll win the trade because of the freeze. The freeze like gets a lot of value, you know, if they have a minion. I didn't know if this was going to be a a pass turn two solar flare. That's why I didn't play the the cro the, the 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 freeze pirate last turn. So it, it looks like this is an aggro solar flare who didn't have a one drop, and because of that, I'm actually not going to keep my Con Man on the field. I'm going to prevent damage. Could be having an extra lane clogged is better, but. We'll likely get between the space time, the card that we draw, and then the card we conjure from our four drop. We'll have a, a something to clog this lane anyways and being cheap. We ended up getting a zero drop, so that's awesome. Another one. So I think we always play you. And, you know, it costs you know, a whole berry blast to get rid of this, so that's fine. Being, being able to play deadly here, to play, you know, to remove, let's say, an elderberry from the field is really good. It's usually just elderberry. Uh, we're 1-0. Oh. Sorry, I was busy writing down the fail. Um, liking this deck so far, it's making a, a great first impression, that game. <laughs> that was a really weird game, though, because... I mean, we're going to be forcing opponents into that where they're just gridlock. Chromag? That's what sucks. So there's no point in using deadly here. I love how we have overshoot. That's cool. Maybe I'll play this. You can just play Yeti. He's just spending this play and, oh, you know, a couple of cards just to try to clear some lanes, which is really important for aggro, typically. We have Ninja Deadly, man. It's kind of hard not to do that. <laughs> the problem with Ninja Deadly is if he blocks, he has a really high chance. Two out of three chance of removing it. I really would love to go for that, though. We're going to do it after he blocks. We can't ha let him have it for free. So the play is either two and one. Let's just go with the Yeti. I'll put it here, too. We'll save the graveyard for something that needs it more. This Yeti should be around for a while. Wait, what did you say? So we get to freeze a strike through minion. It's a highlight video, if anything ever. I'm not ignoring you guys, I'm multitasking. I'm just an autistic, autistic male. I have all the disadvantages when it comes to multitasking. Think about it, guys. You can't read every comment. There's hundreds of you people here. There's literally... Why does it say zero viewers? But you're drunk. Which is high. There's 230 people here. Bruh. So now what? So now we can do this. Oh yeah. We can also just... He is weed whack. I probably should just yeti here, right? Alright, let's go. That's better. Better.
There's a weird glitch where Brainana makes the opponent have negative brains. Yeah, I forget why that happened. I think it has to be where they teleport in a gravestone, then you use Brainana, and that, you know, they end up having more brains. I, I don't remember what the thing is. It's just a visual bug, though. I don't actually get negative brains. Wait. Okay. This actually dies. Wow. This is a con, man. This lane opening up is fine, so... It's really sad how this dies. Poor, uh, poor Getty. I'm gonna go for Deadly now. Thank you, Lava Doggy. Lava Doggy. 33 months. God dang. God dang. We'll do this to set up the Plank Walker. I think I'm gonna play you, and then we'll play this, because why not? It'll live. Let's see if it hard removes it. Where do you get this from? Oh, yeah. That's fine. Damn. So this doesn't really get any value. Uh, yes it does. Where do you get garlic? Oh, he conjured it. Deadly time! Let's go! This dies deadly anyway, but it kills the garlic and makes the 3-1 do some stuff. Now these plank walkers are just gonna finish him. Hey, hell yeah. Look at all the damage. So good. I'm gonna do the plank walker like this because it's more fun. <laughs> There's no grave removal, solar flare, and it couldn't have conjured it from the potato service because they already played garlic, so. Ah, uh, this'll, this'll do it. <sighs> laser? Freaking laser. Okay. Here comes the Yeti. Guaranteed Weasel. Here comes the Yeti. Look, guys, we have Gizzard Lizard. For everyone who wanted me to run that in this deck. I cut it during the uh, thing. Wow, why is my deck list six over here? We got instead! Instead was another card again. I, I didn't really go through this during the intro, but nominees for this deck were, were Tank Lasaurus instead. Uh, we were thinking running Gizzard Lizard, but there's just a bunch of cards. Maybe Mix of Grave Digger was an option, but we ended up with 55 cards, so we just had to cut it to a concise deck. I think the, the, the way this deck works, like on turn 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I think it's pretty good. So that was game 2, right? Let me fix this deck list. That's terrible. There. Way better. For you guys with OCD out there. Alright. Get rid of the late game. I love Con Man. I'd love a uh, environment against Cycle Cap too. I wonder if we hold on to this or we just play it. It's a good way to punish Cycle Cap. <laughs> I think I'm gonna just play it. Where do we play it? Bloop, that's fine. That blows out of his hand now. Love to see that. We gain card advantage when he blows a one draw. So it's gotta be space time. I'll put it here. Where do you like your fries from the most? Uh, I like them, the ones I make. Homemade. Cut actual potatoes. Dry them and deep fry them. I rarely ever do it. I don't eat a lot of, like, racy food like that. I know, because look at me. I'm, I'm the picture of good health. But, uh, wow, so he commits Astro Shroom really early. Let me go for that. A berry blast. Can't really do anything with it. He might go for a cycle cap here. We'll see what happens. He actually can. He can't go for cycle. 
Not an option. So we can go for Barrel Deadly, we can go for just Space Time Deadly. Huh. They don't have a way to answer environments, unfortunately. Well, honestly, I'm cycle capping at this point. It's pretty... Pretty bad. This barrel sort of clears his fields. I could also just not deadly. I think I'm gonna barrel and space time instead of deadly. It doesn't make sense to deadly it. So he's going for it. He takes two damage from this con man, which is sad. Uh, then the con man dies. Good play. Kind of a desperation move here. Fries need to be double fried for best results. Double fried, yeah. I'm not, I don't really like like fake French fries where they it's made from like potato powder. I like ones that are made from proper actual cut potatoes. It's just because I didn't grow up eating fast food, you know, otherwise I probably would like it. I grew up keeping kosher. I didn't eat any of that stuff. So Yeti and uh, man, we got conjures. This should be fine. We don't have an we're running six environments, but we didn't get one. But again, the chances of him having another Astro Shroom are pretty low. He could have beans now. <sighs> Punisher. Should have put Punisher him here, eh? Really doesn't want us conjuring. We're we're doing really, really well in this game here. Shroomy for two. I thought for a second a freezing one of these would make it less likely for Punish Room to hit you, but... Uh, okay. Oh my gosh, we just got gladiated! <laughs> Guys, if you don't know how to counter uh, the, the cycle cap where they're trying to put all their cards in plan of the Astro Shroom and Beans and put in plan of the Grapes and just draw a bunch of cards because they do direct damage to face. The main counter is not Con Man, it is Gladiator. Unfortunately, we can't play it, but we do have a graveyard and love it. You can't even play Astro this turn. Bruh. So, I, I can probably take this damage. Which one of these are more of a problem? Here we go. I'm gonna take this damage since this will do something next turn anyway. And we'll cover the environment. We're in really good shape here. He can't blow, so he's got super. Rain doesn't do a damn thing. Uh, and more spore. This guy's screwed. Flat Eater also just gives us a little extra health, you know? So Shark would be very cool as a finisher here. They don't probably don't have to freeze anything. The freeze is also also very cool. I'm gonna go with you, you first, see what we get. Maybe this will convince us of another play. Stomp it on. They could go freeze, stomp it on. I don't know. All right, in case he does something crazy. It makes the Yeti go up to six attack. There's another planet. Still free this. We're doing one, three, two. It should win anyway. Look at the synergy, guys. Such synergy much. Wow, I know. California roll time? There's a two. There's a three. There's a three. Of course he can. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but we have Con Man, so he can't do anything. <laughs> he can't. Not a damn thing. I love how the shark gets the buff from the stuff it on. Very cool. I think we got this anyway, but it's just annoying. Cards. Astro Shroom don't do not a damn thing. 
Dark moon. We probably could have just won with shark last turn instead of putting three minions on, but anyway. Yes! <laughs> Hell yeah! Dad jokes are always appreciated. Let's go, this deck! This deck is getting it done! It seems really like we're... I mean, there's so many ways of controlling this deck. Ugh. I love how we beat like a grass knuckles who played like three triceratops too. That was really the game. What kids of oils are acceptable kosher deep frying? Yeah, I so anything that's not that. made from animals. If it's made from an animal, it has to be a kosher animal, which is impossible. No pigs. Even if it was made from beef fat, it would have to be a cow that was ritually slaughtered. It was nightmares. Nothing animal based is basic. Everything that's not animal based is basically kosher, unless it, it it was like grown in Israel or something like that. Special holiness. So yeah, beta carotina doesn't actually have an answer, so we can go two, three, four. This should work. We started with infinity clones yet. Hey vegans, you all keep kosher for real. The chance again, I you know it can have. Uh, Lettuce can have, if you buy, you know, lettuce without washing it properly, it can have bugs in it, which are not kosher, but that's still not plant-based, that's animal-based. So if you're eating a truly plant-based diet, you're probably keeping good. Unless you live in Israel. But I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a vegan, I don't keep kosher, so. Are you stupid? What's upon a time? Man, that's annoying. I mean, he's letting me conjure all these cards, which is fun. I think I just set up laser anyway. Screw it. Screw this guy. Hey, it's the plant plan. This guy used to come to the stream all the time. The plant plan. Welcome back. So we're just doing this. I can't do it here. I wonder if he has another Roto Vega. Actually, if he does, I can Frosty it. Easy. In fact, I could have played it here and then just actually played for Frosty. That wouldn't have been a bad play either. Alright, we'll go with you. Could have played this too, man. This is a good play. Uh, okay, we'll do Frosty. Maybe I'll save the. No, I should have played the 4-4. The four -four. What a mistake. We're playing around Roto Vega. Okay. For uh, what? So we'll freeze this one. We could we could prevent six damage. I wonder if preventing six damage is better. We don't actually need this to live another turn, even though it would be extremely annoying if it did. Alright, so we'll take 6 damage, we'll be at 10 health, full block meter. I think this is fine. I'm gonna put out Yeti on the field and actually just protect this now. Hopefully he doesn't roll a 3. Fine. You dang it! So now, now that this is already established, we can start putting other threats on the field, and yeah. That was fine. That was probably, in the long run, better than setting up the 4-4. The four four. We can do that next turn, you know, it'll be really strong after we freeze whatever he does with the Yeti. He can't, unless he removes this 3-2, he can't do anything here. This dies for free, though. Does he have something that remove? This dies for free. He doesn't know how it works, guys. Okay, get frozen, bitch. <laughs> this is not a good play. <laughs> La 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 Oh no, he doesn't know! How would he, he doesn't know, guys? How would he know? It's because it's to read the card, that's how you would know. Read the damn card. Do we go for Conjure? Do we go for another one of these? Just be extra annoying. Okay, let's go for another one. I don't care. 
I love how if he plays in the environment, we can still deadly this and make it do the thing again. <laughs> I think this worked out. I think keeping this alive in the long run was better. Oh, good, great, Brain Anna. Oh my gosh. Oh no, Brain Anna. And now like, oh, what am I going to do? <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> That's going in the Falcom. Sorry. Sorry, my friends, my old friends. You successfully made the fail count. It's a Reforno. Hell yeah. My dad joke is you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. Dun da 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 da. Bump. Got him. Yeah, Space Ninja, man. Listen, we've done the thing with the Space Ninja before. I, I don't know if you guys missed what was one of the most fun decks we ever did. I guess I'm bringing back some of the concepts. But it was a Mop Infinity. We ran, like, you know, Graveyard and Laser Base, and we were running the Ninja in it. Ninja Deadly, and it really made a big impact. Okay, so now what do we do? I don't have a Graveyard. You go bye-byes. I don't need a Graveyard. Get rid of Yeti, too. By space time. Okay. <laughs> Alal and, and Kosher are uh, similar. Honestly, it's really ironic how much conflict there is in the world between Jews and Arabs because the cultures are very similar in a lot of ways. The language is so similar. I sat with a... Uh, I sat on a bus one time with a lady from Jordan, and uh, we were comparing, like, Hebrew and Arabic. They're such similar languages. It's ridiculous. Half the words are the same, at least. Um, and, yeah, man. There's just a lot of similarities. People gotta just put the, all the politics. I know it's tough, but you gotta just put that behind you at a certain point, you know? I wonder if I set up a laser here. Maybe I should have gone for a laser base. La 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 la. Uh. Well, let's see what happens. We can protect this with something. I'd like to see if he has an environment right now. We'll find out right now. Strength. Yeet. I think we're doing pretty damn good right now. This man is just passing like nobody even cares. He rockets that. This thing. So we could Frosty and then play 2 plus 3 next turn. Should be fine. If, especially if the first one splashes. It kills his cards. and It'll kill these barrels, but it doesn't kill the result. Should I freeze here? Or should I save this? Conjuring a card is probably right. Better than freeze with the slow. This guy's slow ass. Come on, man. Here comes this. That's what's up next turn. We can upgrade it by playing it on Captain Deadbeard. That'll be fun. They see me rolling. Oh my god. No. No. I love how it gives you the thumbs up at the end. Come on, man! Who runs gardening gloves? Who runs... Okay, we need fourth barrel now. But the game's gridlocked. It's over, guys. <laughs> um, okay, pass. You definitely don't set this up, because then it can be used against you. Uh, you definitely surprise your opponent with the deadly. Um, 
Um, okay, well, this will conjure something, so that's nice. We still have either of these. <laughs> this is gonna happen some games, though. The game is gonna get shut down. They're gonna try playing around things, it's just not gonna work, man. <laughs> I know, where's fourth barrel? Oh my god, he's so fucking here we go! <laughs> but that costs five. We're gonna end up with with a four three, a four two, and a four one on the field. Like now he has two sun to deal with this. This is this is a game over! How is he gonna do? He's gonna doom shroom us next turn, maybe. Um I wonder if we even played Plank Walk. My 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 the thing is I'm thinking of just using this right now. It'll probably come more useful later. He's going to have to establish something on this board. But, like, should I set up space time instead of Plank Walker so the Doom Shroom becomes less bad? Oh my gosh. Walnut. Anyway. I think Yeti is better here. It's going to be Yeti, Laser Base, Alpha. It's anyway better. And then it plays a little bit around Doom Shroom, which is nice. Obviously, the Gravestone protects us. He probably is running Grave Removal. He could have, like, Grave Buster Doom Shroom, man. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. He could cuke this field, too, man. Plank Walker would be better in that case. But if he doesn't, if he doesn't have Doom Shroom or Cuke right now, Laser Base, Alpha does 4 damage in lane 4, which is... Well, definitely one of the reasons we're running this. Not just for the deadly. You need your cards to be able to go face. We don't have bonus attacks, obviously, in this deck. But we do have plant food. We do have a uh, laser base album. High <laughs> ceiling. Getting ready for impact. So we're doing a lot. We're going to be doing eight and five. We'll be one off lethal here. We obviously freeze you. Maybe not. Maybe we want to make a play. I don't know. Anyway. Take out the Twin Sunflower. Why not? Why the hell not? So he's got one health left now. Full block meter. I think if he had Doom Shroom, he plays it last turn. So let's just set up a 6-6. Six six. We'll set up Graveyard for the next one, too, since he clearly does not have a Grave Buster. I'm guessing he's just going for Walnut Bowling, which is the slowest crap you could ever do. Okay. He's going for Heal Combo? Bruh. <laughs> he needs to block and get his ultimate. We can definitely cover this crap. He has a two attack guy that, that goes in lane two. That would be nice. He just wins straight up by rolling a one here too. Man, I don't, I don't want to get heal comboed. That's a, that's a really strong graveyard, and we win. <laughs> okay. Well, this deck is so far, so far. So I said I'm playing eight games today too. I mean, we're an hour into the stream. This game, this deck also. I know the video probably doesn't say an hour, but we're an hour and three minutes into the stream because this deck took a long time to make. This deck was a humongous pile of every splash and freeze card known to mankind, and didn't have any late game in it. And, this is, uh, looking like a masterpiece, though. Okay, okay. Oh, Spidow. We don't have Graveyard, which always makes these less useful. That's cool. Two, three, four is probably all right. Should I look for a one? I don't really need it in this day. Two, three, four. Space time's a good play here. I think I'll play Space Time on the ground. I'd probably just prefer him to play Spike Weed Sector. You also usually want your first Space Time to do the right, because then if it's fronted, your second one goes to the left, which they're not necessarily going to have a minion to front it on turn 3. What are the bets today? Curious. So it's split right down the middle. 51% voted yes for 6 or more. 49% voted no. <laughs> Infinity's just the best hero, there's nothing more to say. I agree. So, I don't think we play for strength. I think we just go all in here. 
We'll probably deadly plus strength next turn or something. Uh, let's say he plays Strawberry in. Very blessed that one. Interesting. Why not very blessed the space time though? So he kills that. See that this is the cool thing. If the first, so this is a great example. If the first space time is played to the right, so you want to play in the lanes three or four, usually three, so you have block meter manipulation to the left and to the right of it. You know, um, you want space time obviously hit hit face and not get blocked because uh, if it does damage, it conjures a card. But the second space time, see this one dies. So if this space time was to the right of it. The card it conjures would cost one less. Now it costs two less because you have two space times on the field. It makes this ability happen twice. Just a little a little thing I usually don't explain. I like hearing the, uh, the stuff. So it's going to be Con Man. We don't set up Barrel yet. No need for that. I'm going to save this for next turn when we freeze. So we can set up Graveyard. Deadly, perhaps? And then uh, be able to play this in the, in the Graveyard, which is... How it activates its ability. Get some tempo. I'm guessing I'm going to use my Deadly Barrel right now to make a good trade in one or two. It also gets discounted because of the space time, so. Hell yeah. That is. A, why would he not play it in lane two? Just, I mean, this is still a good trade for us. I don't want to take four damage. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Bubble. Oh my gosh. He's going to put it. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a nice time. That cost one. Love to see it. Oh, so great. Deadly. Space Time has way too much health. How is this card? It's so good. How is it a 1 5? Like, why? Like, why not 1 4? It's a 2 drop. Even 1 3. Okay, 1 3. 1 4 would definitely be good enough. I don't really know. Man, we have Barrel Mission now, which I don't want to do. I'll do it later. Be. <laughs> I love this. So good. Uh, you're annoying. Very annoying. It keeps combat on the field. Four damage to face. Nothing to laugh at. I wonder if I should add extra attack to this right now. I wonder if I set up the barrel. I can't really set up the barrel this turn anyway. Alright, well, should we just take the damage? Alright, let's just take it. Maybe I'll just final mission to face or something next time. It's deadly. I don't have any comfy plays right now. I guess I'm going to do the barrel thing. It's just if he if he breaks the barrel. It kills this. Keeps Con Man alive. I, I think this is overall going to be worth it. He'd ha if he can break this with an ability or with a trick, it kills the 7-1 for free. That, that just might be an emotional play. We're at 20 health. I don't really have to do anything. I could do all this next turn, you know? That's probably not right. He actually doesn't go for the barrel. It's hilarious. And he kills that. So, this goes face. This absolutely goes face. It's 4 plus 4 plus 1 bullseye should win the game. See if he rolls a 3. He does. Come on, man! Deadly, I'll save. He does 3 damage. Karma, nope. Of course not. Potato. I don't know when I would use strength that it would actually be better than that. Laser Base Alpha wins the game. Right here. He's not going to spend another card on the 4-3, I, I think. Uh, he thinks that this is an automatic block, and it is most definitely not. I love how if this doesn't work out, we have the barrel for lane 1 to correct a trade. He'll probably try to... He has to kill the con man. It's killing... Okay, great. Doom Shroom. <laughs> He's justifiably paranoid. Let's see if we can get another final mission from this. <laughs> he missed? La 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 la. What's that? I think we... Down to one health now. He's Doom Shape already. Ugh. So it's gotta be Plankwalker in two. 
Doom Shroom means, yeah. Not gonna be a happy day for any juice. I'm playing around Grave Buster, I guess. So not playing this here. Grave removal, block buster, it's a guardian hero. Probably if it was a sprip smarty hero, I would not be playing around Grave Flick there. Much less common current. Got him! Man, it's all coming together. Like, we're just to analyze why we added the Planeswalkers, like, we're really happy to have Planeswalker, you know, as a finisher here. We're not gonna, like, run out of cards in this deck, you know? <laughs> Laz, I'm only seeing your question of why not Plank Walker in the grave, like, after I've already explained that. <laughs> We're on a delay. So I get sniped slightly less. This is cool. This is cool. Which one? How do I, uh, what do I do with this hand here? I don't know about the 3 2. We'd have to, like,. It dies so badly to his rumble. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna get rid of this. All right, I guess it's fate. This is pretty good against turn one for get me nuts, and then we'll set up the laser, and then set up this and pray and see what happens. I love it if he would just play whole floor right now and not and give me the information that I don't have to play around the one card that screws this up, which is ready to rumble. He does go for the oh, that's six already. So the answer is yes already. Let's go for eight and zero oh with this deck, man. That's a really good play. I think we just set up laser on three. See what happens. If he has spike weed, at least he'll play it immediately, usually. That's cool. Whee! I'm gonna set the laser up here. Because... I could just play you. I could play you, Gravestone you, and then laser next turn. Alright, that's the play. Because really, if this can do 3 damage and take out the Triceratops, that's all I need it to do. We'll see right now which superpower he has. If he, if he like Holoflora's right now, oh please do that. We have the perfect answer to Holoflora. But yeah, the answer is yes already. So congrats. Zombie freeze decks going going 100% right now. That's fine. That's okay. Ooh, I really don't like playing this graveyard anymore, but I'm doing it. Screw this guy. <laughs> I'm all in on this ninja. If this ninja doesn't work out, I'm, I'm screwed. I'm literally sacrificing uh, Captain Deadbeard because this goes up to three attack. It would have lived and traded evenly otherwise. I am all in. Please don't remove this gravestone. Please. Best case scenario, he just plays like a, an environment. I'm all in, yes, draw a card. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, make it bigger. Yes, play more Play more cards. Play another click B. Just play second click B. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be my best friend. <laughs> Get absolutely, completely out of the room. Bye bye, see ya, have a nice time. Bye, cards. <laughs> Yes! Uh, and we're perfectly set up for this Yeti to go face for five damage. Man, get wrecked. That's the highlight intro. <sighs> this game four. Heck yeah. Another Yeti next turn. Let's go. We have Freeze coming up with all kinds of stuff. Oh, man. Oh, he's trying to rush us. Man, Gatling is scary as hell right now. This has to be right. <laughs> no, my God, he actually has Gatling. How? How are we gonna win, though? I'm so scared. We're doing seven. He's proccing our block here. It's unfreezing. We still might lose this game. What ah! time to shine? No, I don't know. Uh. Huh? We can freeze it, but it unfreezes. We can't double freeze this thing. Alright, well, this has to go here, I think. Oh my gosh, we're screwed. Rumble wins. Oh, oh, there's so many things that go wrong here. I wish I could... 
Okay, we have to go for lethal ourselves, right? Plant food just wins, though. So we'll play around. No. No, we have to go for the win. We can't play around plant food. Plant food wins anyway. <laughs> Gatling's Gatling. <laughs> we won the game. I mean, Grass Knuckles too strong. All right. Well, I'll take an L to that deck. I mean, that's arguably, arguably the best the best plant deck in the game. I mean, other than maybe Captain Combustible. Come on, man. I mean, if I would have gone Shark in, in six, you know what would have been really good in that situation is instead. Instead would have been amazing because it would have frozen and chump blocked an amphibious minion. But, like, if I would play Shark and he would do that, I still could have won. He would just have to not get time to shine or rumble. He already got Hole of Floor, so he would have to get Root Wall. It would have given me a shot. I think going face was right since two out of three of his powers. If I play Shark there, two out of three of his powers when he block wins immediately. All right? Actually, no. Time to shine. He'll block. Time to shine. He'll block lane one. Yeah, lane two is proccing the block there. Because if he doesn't have plant food, he's definitely playing something to jump block lane one. Yeah, Shark was not the play. That, we did that right, but he had a Gatling, so. God damn. Alright, so that was really cool. Um, it's still the highlight intro, I don't care. <laughs> Intro, game, seven, turn, four. All right, let's go. This is going on YouTube. Trust me. Trust me, guys. <laughs> la, 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 la. What the heck? I got it. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, sorry. I'm spacing out. I'm filling in my editor which videos are gonna go on, on Prime of Gaming. Is Freeze good? Hard to tell. I'm putting this here because if he goats or mugs it, the space time wants to be in lane two. Just in case the California rolls, the third shot, one, two, three, gets blocked. So this goes to the right. Letting you guys on little insights that go in my head that I usually don't explicitly <laughs> talk about. Yes, I will play Marvel Snap at some point. I don't know if it'll be tonight or tomorrow or next week. Next week, latest. All right, you guys? New card mobile game. I already have it downloaded on my blue stacks. I'm probably just going to do the first stream. I haven't played at all. I played one match. I'm probably just going to start a new count on my um, blue stacks, and we'll just uh, we'll just play through. Can you sync accounts? Is that a thing? I wonder if I play around Goat and Mog right now, or Weed Whack, Freeze. Just wonder if I play one of these. <laughs> I'll play Sun Heights too. Well, maybe because of laser we want it to be on the ground. Whoops. Mogs anyway. Give me another con man. Uh, uh, so we have Yeti as a pet, and we have Sharktronic. It's also possible to conjure something from Frosty. Oh, guys, look, we have pets. I'm so happy. Uh, this and Deadly into Laser next turn. Sound good to me. And, and, and uh, sorry. And Encrypt. At least this isn't charging block meter like a 1-1. One, one. Probably better. Oh, that's fine. I got a freaking laser beam. <laughs> good. Uh, we kind of have to consider that the opponent might be running Venus Flytrap Planet. There's not much we can do about that right now, anyway. 
Come on, play something to play the wing nut in, in four. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Get punished. Sunflower primal. Cool. I kind of want to play space time next turn. I haven't played shrinking violet. Be saving it though. So we could play this now and then play two cards next turn, or we can surprise him with it next turn. I think I'm gonna play it now. Would just be correct to play space time here? We could play a second laser. That'll play around environments. Uh, I think it's just space time. Drinking's okay. Oh, uh, Cobb Cannon, yeah, it just doesn't really do anything here. Dies for free. I think Rose is a pretty good hero to be just playing this dry into, you know what I mean? Besides for Weed Whack, doesn't really have a way of dealing two damage. What are they gonna do? Double Colonel Pull? Can't even do that right now. So, uh... Rose, as good as she is with big removals, not really the small removal expert. She has a lot of healing and a lot of Brinanas and a lot of other stuff, but, uh... Definitely not the speciality. So that's okay, because this actually is still clearing the field, and we have another one of these for next turn. We could go shark here. There's another card, though. Love it. Oh my gosh, free environments. That will very likely affect what we do. Pony does not have goat or mug because all this damage has been bullseye. Now what? Two and three looks fine. Didn't have an, really have an answer to this last turn. Shark looks so good though, man. Uh, Alright. This is a sniper? Please think aloud more often. It's helpful for learning. Yeah, I, again, I'm, I'm general trying to think out loud, but I'm more focusing on the specific deck strategy and thinking ahead to the next turn. I'm not. I don't. One thing I don't explain a lot is like lanes, you know. Brinana, shark would have been a little bit better against Brinana. We need a leap. We need a leap. You look cute, Daddy. Smiling face. Thank you. Chemical Lucino. 11 months. Okay, what are the pros and cons right now of playing this environment? I could also just play it here, since we have the deadly. Well, I'll probably go for shark next turn and then have this option. So shark plus environment. I think it looks... Well, this will drag things in here. Maybe we don't... Maybe we want to drag things here, though. I don't know. Maybe we want to drag things here. You know what? It's such a weird play, but I'm playing it here so that we drag things to the right. <laughs> I don't know if that's correct. There's another ninja. I think I just shark, man. Let's play the shark before the dragon happens. I like how anything he plays dies for absolutely free right now. Because ninja shark. Imagine Rose not having an answer to this field, though, man. Even, like, Trinking Violet just doesn't do enough. I love how Space Ninja is above Shrinking Violet. It's so good. Uh, this Rose thinking way too long. <laughs> it just feels... Oh, no, man. You screwed or what? What's going on, man? I love how even if the opponent clears a minion or two here, the Plankwalker comes in like a wrecking ball next turn. Really, even just dead Ninja Deadly plays around the, the dragon too. Okay, nice. That was beautiful. Play that in heights. Going for a cop cannon? Elder. Well, the chat's telling me this is a famous sniper, and they're definitely acting like it. 
Dude, you're feeding. You're feeding. Someone send me proof that this is a guy who constantly stripes, snipes me in tryhard, and I'll keep his name in the in the comp, just for that. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? That's not a good play, bro. <laughs> it dies for free. We have shard. We have shard. <laughs> Uh, uh, damn it, you rolled a three. Didn't deserve it. We. Yay, cards. So this is a, uh, it's a, it's a sunflower factory. It's very cool. I don't get it. So do we plank here? Plank does win against it. I mean, Plank wins against... <sighs> okay. Plank. Plank Walker. Plank Walker's the play. <laughs> Let's be real, guys. <laughs> the, play, the play is Plank Walker. He didn't have a big answer before. Going for Deadly just doesn't do enough damage. He can play Dragon here. It doesn't do not a damn thing. It does zero things. Love how we have a Deadly Barrel set up, too. Let's go. Go to that one. <laughs> Save that. Catch a mechanic. You know that's going to lane three. How would he know, man? Look at the six six. It's so strong. Bruh. And Astrocado loses the trade. La 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 la. Oh. Extra punish, that's nice. See ya. Cyborg. Ported in with Cyborg. Cyborg, yes. Didn't California roll this time. So, I think this is good. We could play Mop. Eh, that should be fine. We got laser. Even if he plays Dragon, we'll just play laser. This man's gonna be dead. You can go laser in three. Anyway, this wins against Dragon. Bruh. Okay. Bye, Planky. No! Wow, we have no board anymore. Damn, that sucks. Actually, we have this. He has to deal with a 4 3 now. I love how we have a sticky minion. You know, if he would have. Plank Walker would have made something else, he could have just destroyed that. Hard, right, you know, straight out. Now the opponent has to remove this. Obviously, uh, no Brainana and no chump blocking because of our hand. This will be a great game to end it on. <sighs> Hell yeah! Bye bye! <laughs> God, man! Yay! Alright guys, so that was the Freeze, Freeze Deadly Splash deck, man. This did absolutely dominate. I mean, we lost to that Galling team, but other than that, man, this was really, really, really good. Turns out Double Strike is very strong against Freeze. I think that's what happened that game. We were able to Freeze Galling be twice and it's only 10 damage to us. Alright guys, 7 and 1. What a great day at the office. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. Man, that was amazing. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.